are gathered here today to witness and celebrate the union of Stephen and Lacey. In the years they have been together, their love for each other has grown, turning them into a couple you see before you. Now they are ready to spend the rest of their lives together as husband and wife. A true marriage begins well before the wedding day, and the efforts of marriage continue well beyond the ceremony. A brief moment in time and the stroke of a pen are all that is required to create the legal bond of marriage. But it takes a lifetime of love, commitment, and compromise to make marriage durable and everlasting. Today, you declare your commitment to each other before friends and family. Stephen and Lacey have decided to do a sand ceremony. Today, you join your separate lives together. The two separate bottles of sand symbolize your separate lives, separate families, and separate sets of friends. They represent all that you are and all that you'll ever be as individuals. They also represent your lives before today. As these two containers of sand are poured into the third container, the individual containers of sand will no longer exist, but will be joined together as one. Just as these grains of sand can never be separated and poured again into the individual containers, so your marriage will be. They chose me to do this ceremony. Um, I wanted to say real quickly to both of you, uh, Kirsch, for the rest of your life, if you will listen every day and stay committed to your wife, you will find ways every day to be a better husband. Lacey, every day if you'll stay committed and listen, you'll find ways for Kirsch to be a better husband. <laughs> and so much as the two of you have consented together in matrimony and have witnessed the same before this company of authority vested in the state of Indiana, I pronounce you man and wife. Steve's older brother. A little piece of advice, Steve. Two words, learning. You're right. And if you can tell Lacey that, you're going to have no problems. I just want to give a small cheers to my, my besties over here. Welcome to the family, Lacey. She's a cursor. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Kayla. I remember being so excited for Steve and Lacey after their first date. I already loved each of them separately, but once they started dating, I loved them as a couple even more. I have loved watching their relationship and love for each other grow over the past two years. And I am so thankful for our friendship and all the memories we have made. With that, I would like to share a few words of advice for you. Let your love be stronger than your anger. Learn the wisdom of compromise. It is better to bend a little than to break. Believe the best rather than the worst. Remember that true friendship is the basis for any lasting relationship. And a happy marriage is about three things. Memories made together, forgiveness of mistakes, and a promise to never give up on each other. I wish the two of you a lifetime full of love and happiness. I'm uh, Neil. I've uh, known Steve for, I don't know, 17, 16 plus years. I, as everybody knows, Steve's pretty much the coolest person in any room that he's in. 
He's so great, apparently he needs two best men. I'm not positive but that's because of the fact that uh, I couldn't decide who the best man should be or that I equaled one good man. Steve and I met about 16 years ago. I don't know uh, if I ever actually told him this, but his reputation actually preceded him before I ever met him. I uh, used to play ball with a few different friends that we both know from Paramaridian. The three of us used to hang out every day. They told me how the cool uh, Stevemite was. They introduced me as Stevemite to him. I am Caitlin, better known as KG but best known as Lacey's best friend. I can't imagine my life without Lacey. She has gotten me through so much and I can't imagine not being her best friend and I would do anything in the world for her. And guess what, Kirsch, you signed up for this for the rest of your life.